Hello, this is Deadeye4047 here, and I thought I'd go ahead and do a video on my two tanks in my room, my two active tanks in my room, because there's literally nothing else to do, and I am bored as all get out. So, what we have here is a 30 gallon, and I have two turquoise Danios. I kind of humorously call them turquoise Danios because it's just funny to me. Five Colombian flame tetras. I'm doing my best to keep my fingers out of the shot. <laughs> and one blood parrot. The greenery is all fake, unfortunately, but because of the light and how expensive such lights are, I cannot grow anything. So the greenery came from my discontinued 30 gallon, which is in the room adjacent to mine, and the skull also came from that 30 gallon. Future, uh, future for the tank is one long fin albino fleco, and two batia boutique or batia loaches, something around those, something around that effect and they're actually a pair so I got them from Live Aquaria shout out to Live Aquaria they are awesome um, you could uh, be all to be honest they could lay off on the uh, on the live animals shipping because uh, that costs an arm and a leg. Anyway, so here's my active 20 gallon. This is my ultimate tank. And uh, wow, the green is um, the green is almost overbearing. Either way, there is a betta and two peacock gudgeons. I used to have seven of them. They died. At, they died off after a while. But I got, a, I got a slight raise at work, so I should be able to buy more and also more food for them. Other than getting more, uh, more of the uh, peacock gudgeons. Sorry, I'm starting to brain fart here. There's also going to be a pit bull pleco. There is. A cycling tank in the living room, 20 gallons, not much to look at right now, but it's, it's, it's coming around, it's coming around. Oh, sorry. Uh, I should be getting fish for that and for these two tanks around Wednesday or Thursday. That's, that's about right, because of the whole Labor Day thing, and that is an inactive tank that is in the process of being created. Um, yeah. um, anyway, that's that 10 gallon tank is going to house a, an Emperor Scorpion, uh, an Asian Emperor Scorpion. And the 20 gallon in the living room is going to have Tiger Endler Guppies. All of them are males, but I'm thinking about taking out all but two of the males. Nah. Nah, I think I'll just keep all the males in there and just throw in some females as I get to it. There's also going to be... I can't remember what else is going in there. If anything. But, um... Yeah, I just can't remember what's going in there. I know another Pleco is going to go in there, but I can't remember if I got one for this shipment or not. Not to do them any good. The 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 twenty gallon in there is not even fully cycled, thus it doesn't even have its algae bloom like this obviously has. So as far as I know, the Endler Tigers or the Tiger Endler Guppies, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> you 
He's trying to get uh, some food I threw in there earlier. I might help him out later when I get when I put this down. But uh, yeah, and the 30 gallon in the room adjacent to mine. I'm gonna make a salt water tank. The people who have inspired me to do this are well are easily Paul Cafaro and the king of DIY, Joey. So, you know, just a small shout out to them. Thank you for uh, sating my curiosities and my hungers for a little bit. And then, you know, just to... Inf and then just to, at the really end of it, just add gasoline to the flame that is my insatiable desire to keep fish <laughs> so yeah I've actually learned a lot from them uh, I've tried to put sponges on the filters for some reason that just made the filter uh, the filters weaker after a while I don't know why there was nothing wrong with the filters uh, and the sponges that I put on the filters were not clogged in any way but it works for like about a week and then it just kind of stops everything. Or almost stops everything. Well, let's see, is there anything else? I don't think there is anything else. It's just that. Um, little history then. I used to have a 55 gallon saltwater tank and that crashed on me. <laughs> So yeah, keeping tanks is nothing new to me. I was just really stupid with the 55 gallon, and um, yeah. I tried to turn that 55 gallon into a terrarium. That failed, because I never got around to it. I got the mulch, I had this little fountain, this little battery powered fountain to put the lizard's water in, drinking water. And I was almost done. I almost had the money to actually get the lizard, but then things started going farther south than they actually than they already were, and here I am. <coughs> that was Florida. This is Alabama. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I've been doing these last six years. Anyway, thank you for putting up with my boring as all hell setup and my boring as all hell commentary and stories and plans. <laughs> Deadeye4047, signing out.